I am going to show you a very exciting tool today that we are very proud of developing. This tool is going to solve your problem in understanding what your visitors are doing on your website. And I don't mean the big picture crap that Google Analytics shows to you or any other analytics services in the market today. I'm talking about sending your visitors through an x-ray machine from the future. This tool is going to give you a threat score for each visitor that browses your website with specific reasons on why we believe they are a threat and you will be able to see anyone who is committing click fraud or sending you bot traffic to your website. Bot Traffic is a computer program that browses your website and pretends to be a real human visitor. It will show you specifically what a visitor did on your website and we will provide you screenshots of their activity so you can decide for yourself if they are valuable or not. So let's take a look at a few screens. This is how the dashboard is going to look. This is the Visitor Behavior Dashboard inside Shopping Cart Elite. And here I already predefined a few values so I put the from and to date and we can choose between the different kinds of uh, browsers and we can also specify if we want to see good traffic, suspicious traffic or bad traffic and specifically also the refer. The good traffic which is uh, anything under a two threat score we are considering that to be okay if the country is missing or if the country is not a US we give it a smaller threat score and we give you a threat reason country right now this specific store receives most of the traffic organically as you can see here and what I want to do is I want to say show me all the bad traffic and here is all the bad traffic and it tells you you know why we believe it's bad traffic so either there is no mouse movement or there is no browser there's really a ton of reasons why we consider some traffic bad but in the past uh, two days so from 11:28 to 11:30, there was this many bad visitors now the good thing is that this is organic traffic so he's not paying for it you know it gets interesting when you actually pay for the traffic and you see this kind of behavior the other thing that you can do is you can actually see what they did on your website specifically which page they went to for how long they stayed and then you can also say you want to see a screenshot of their activity if you want to see what exactly happened on a certain page for a specific visitor, you would just enlarge the view, double click on it, and then you can see a picture of what exactly happened. So in this case, you can see a picture that they started when they visited the page, their mouse was here, and as they started moving it, they went here, clicked on it, then their mouse ended up on the bottom here, they clicked on it, which again, this could have been an Ajax action that they were clicking on, and that's exactly what happened on the page. Now the way we track the mouse movement is we basically track uh, every 20 pixels that it moves so we uh, show you what happens. And if it's moving fast, we don't track it. So we just track every 20 pixels every two seconds. So this way if he's browsing around, we're not going to track exactly. So if he's just trying to move his mouse from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, we're not going to track every 20 pixels, we just will track where he stopped and we'll see if he clicked on that area or he didn't and we'll connect the lines together. So this visual screen to show you what happened on the website and you can browse all of the traffic based on the refer to see which traffic is bad and so on and this is a great indicator because when you measure your overall analytics and you say oh I have a 50% bounce rate or you're saying I have no sales or whatever the reason is, it might not be your fault or your website's fault or your prices. It might be that people are not even real that are coming to your website. Now, the second part of this whole thing is people are not engaging with your website. But the first thing I wanted to cover is where people are not even real. So obviously, if there is no mouse movement, then they're not real, even though in, in some cases here, we can see there is no mouse movement, but according to the regular analytics, you would see that they're browsing the website, the 34 seconds here, 22 seconds here, and so on. But in reality, it's a bot clicking on the random links, and in 95% of the cases, it's a real bot and not because uh, JavaScript was disabled. Now, we also have a threat score if it's an offender IP that's blacklisted, and there's uh, a bunch of other threat reasons. Now, here is the part that's probably going to shock you. So, we're going to minimize the organic traffic and I have a website here which shows you paid traffic so this is traffic coming in from Google this is supposed to be the campaign not just the referrer this is all AdWord traffic coming in and if we will check the threat score on it we'll see that AdWord is sending us traffic that has no mouse movement it's not engaging with a website and in some cases where we verify that it's AdWords so for example here we have Google AdWords search network uh, searched for Basel wheel 
again, we see a behavior that has no mouse movement that engaged with a website for 10 seconds and left. And according to you, you would say, hey, hey, there's five page views. The guy stayed on the site for, what, two minutes, but there's no mouse movement. And if you go and start going through the screenshots, you'll obviously see that that traffic was a bunch of garbage. Now, if we sort and say, let's uh, see some good traffic, and we look at some higher visitor engagement on good traffic. So, for example, we have this one, which also came from AdWords. And if we look what he was doing on the website, so you can see that he actually was engaging with the website. So he started off at this point, and then he was browsing, and he even clicked on an image to enlarge it. His mouse was just moving all over the place. And at the end of the day, he ended up going to the search and pressing go on the search because I guess he was looking for something else. So this is traffic that actually engaged with the site. So there's 14 actions, right, 14 page views. And we can see that he had no threat score. And we can see that, you know, he came with a certain keyword from Google AdWords. And he engaged with the site. So that's a good quality of traffic. If you compare apples to apples, we don't have to guess here. You can take the high threat score that we tell you that's bad traffic compared to the low threat score that we say is good traffic. And you can see that the good traffic is engaging with your website and the bad traffic is not. But the traffic is coming in from the same sources. So you might wonder, well, you know, I'm paying the same money for the same keyword. Shouldn't I get the same kind of traffic that's engaging and not? So this is where we come in and we actually show you where you get the bad traffic from, where you get the good traffic from. And we can give you reports on a domain level refer, not just, hey, everything is Google, because Google might have a specific keywords that they're sending you that causes bad traffic, or there might be a content network partner that's sending bad traffic. So we can actually show you all this information by generating a report and giving you like a big picture overview so you can shut down the traffic that's causing you the problems and wasting your money and not engaging with your site, and then you can leave the good traffic. In addition, we're finishing up the piece right now to measure engagement, which will take all the good traffic and give it an engagement engagement score similar to the threat score that will tell you if they are a valuable visitor to your website. So using this engagement score, you can see if visitors are interested in your products or if you have high prices or you know maybe there are some problems with your website and you'll be able to see the quality of the traffic that Google AdWords is sending you specifically so you can generate a report that will tell you which keyword in Google AdWords is giving you a high threat score and a low engagement so you can shut those keywords down and then it'll give you a report of the low threat score with high engagement, specifically which keywords, so you can keep bidding on those keywords or maybe even up your bid to get more of that traffic. So this gives you x-ray vision of who your visitors are, what they're doing on your website, exactly who's coming in. So every time you spend a dollar on any kind of traffic, regardless if it's Google AdWords or Facebook or whatever, you can actually see what they're sending you, how the visitor engaged with your site, what exactly happened on the website, and then you can take that and use that to your advantage to tweak your campaign. Because otherwise, if you're only tweaking it based on Google conversions, you can see the problem here, that we have the same kind of keyword, and one might be people coming in as bots, known offender IPs, very old browsers that Firefox 3 or Firefox 1 that's been used God knows how many years ago, nobody uses it anymore. Chances are it's probably a bot. And when you're wasting money on any kind of pay-per-click, you need to take care of that is you need to report back to Google saying, look, you're sending me garbage traffic. I don't want to get any traffic that comes with an old browser. If it's an old browser, stop it from even coming to my website. And that's also another step that we're going to be working on. Google has Google scripts, which can actually take our rules. So all of our, our threat rules that we have, we can actually apply to Google and to say, look, if anything is a threat of four or higher because of these threat reasons, don't even bother sending us the traffic. So that's a part of Google scripts that we'll be working on later next year. But for now, this gives you a lot more information than any kind of analytic data that you will find on the internet because there is nobody doing this. I've you know checked before we started developing it. There is no company that does this because there is multiple ways you need to track this. And in addition, there could be false positives. So you need this screenshots to actually show you exactly what happened on the site, how the mouse moved, how it clicked, where the mouse clicked, and so on to make your final decision. This also requires a lot of tweaking. If you're interested in using this awesome tool, it is available in Shopping Car Elite right now. And if you do decide to use this tool, I hope that you'll sleep better at night knowing that you're actually getting something back for your money because I know I will when I'm going to be using this for my own company.